Hey everybody, this is Ben with devslopes.com and in this video we are going to get our Pocket Droids Go project set up in Unity and install the Mapbox SDK. It shouldn't take more than a couple of minutes, so we're going to just dive right on in. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to mapbox.com, um, that's their home website, and I'm just going to click on this get started for free button. So I'm just going to set up a new account here so I can walk you through the process. So let's fill in my username and my email and then give myself a password and click get started. And it's going to take us to this screen where we can download for what platform we're looking for. So let's go ahead and click Unity and that'll take us to the walkthrough for installing the Unity SDK. First, we're going to go ahead and download this package. So I'm going to save file and just to save on confusion later on, um, I am on Linux while I'm recording this, so if anything looks different than what you're used to, that's that's why. Let's go ahead and open up Unity and get our project set up. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. And we're going to make sure that we've got 3D enabled, and we're going to say Pocket Droids. Let's go ahead and do some camel casing. Go. And I think this is the folder I want. Programming, games, yep, perfect. And we could go ahead and add the asset package right now, but I'm going to show you how to do that from within the editor just to show you that, you know, if you've already got a map project going, it's not too late, you can always switch. So let's go ahead and create that project. And now that we've got this up and running, let's click on Inspector so I'm in the right tab. And we are going to go ahead and we're just going to set up a few directories so the project is set up how I normally do it. Um, let's go ahead and create a folder and we're just going to go ahead and call this map box and that's where we're going to store all of our extra map box stuff. Create a new folder and I'm going to name this one scenes and then again create a new folder and I'm going to name this one models. Create a folder and this will be called prefabs or prefables apparently. Create a folder and I'm going to call this utilities. Now, real quick, so I don't have to explain it later. Um, the reason I'm, I set up my stuff this way is um, it's pretty straightforward and I can manage everything really easily. And oh, one very important other folder. GUI. So the models will be for our 3D models, map boxes for the map box SDK stuff. GUI is where I'm going to put user interface stuff like button assets, etc. And then we've just got prefab scenes and then utilities for any utility classes that we need to create. Still with me? Good. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the Mapbox SDK and it doesn't take very long. So let's go ahead and import that. Let's go to assets and then we're going to import a new custom package. And I'm going to go to my downloads and it should be I downloaded it previously, but there we go. Import that. So there's a long list of things in here um, that come with the SDK. And if you really want to trim it down, we could go through and pick out everything that you don't need. But I'm not too worried about that at the moment. I usually don't. That way, if it turns out I need something later, I've always got it handy. So I'm just going to import the whole package. So once that's imported, um, it opens up this screen here. And this is where we're going to put our access token. And then we can choose a starter project to get us started. The first thing we'll need, obviously, is a token. And to get that, we're going to go ahead and reopen our mapbox.com website that we minimized earlier. And we're going to go ahead and click next. Now we've got our main access token here, but I'm going to go ahead and show you in a minute a cool feature of Mapbox where we can set up a different token for individual projects. And that's that's what we're going to go with here. So we'll go ahead and click next. And this covers opening an example scene. And that's where we open one of the example scenes from the Mapbox SDK that we imported and we can take a look and play around to get more familiar with it. And that's really all there is to it. This page lists out a couple of tools that we are going to be using later, such as Mapbox Studio in particular. But we're going to go ahead and go to our profile to set up that API key. So I'm going to click on this little astronaut, go to my account, and they've got the super friendly welcome screen. Um, and from here, we can see all kinds of stuff about our Mapbox account. We can look at the dashboard to see billing, tools and resources, our access tokens, um, quick links to tools we'll need to get started. They also do statistics for us. 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to come to this access token section and we are going to go ahead and create a token. And to get started, we're going to need to give that token a name. So we're going to go ahead and call this pocket droids go. And for now, we're going to leave all of these other settings alone. We just need the token to get started. So let's go ahead and create token and it's going to ask for our password just to confirm. And there we go. We've got a new token for pocket droids go. And this allows us doing this rather than using our default public token is going to allow us to get more clear data from our statistics and really encapsulate our project. So that's that's what I prefer to do. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. Then we're going to come back to Unity and we just need to paste this token in. It's going to submit and verify that token, say, hey, it's valid. Then we're going to go ahead and open up this location based game so we can kind of get a feel for Mapbox and see that it's working. There we go. It played by default when we entered and you'll notice we've got a map rendered already with our player set to 000. So just to kind of clean up, we're going to grab all of these extra map box folders that were created and we're going to pull them into one folder. And really, I should have named this folder a little better. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder and I'm going to call this map box SDK. I'm going to control click all of these directories that were imported and just drag them right into the Mapbox SDK folder. OK, and that's it. Our project is now set up and ready for us to get started with real development. So just to kind of give you a quick tour, um, you'll notice there is a new Mapbox tab up here in the navigation. And this is going to allow us to clear our caches, use the Atlas template generator, um, go to our setup and use the map editor, which is a really cool tool. And this is that visual scripting that I was talking about earlier. Um, we can now see, and I'm going to maximize this so we've got a clearer view. We can now see all of our visualizers, all our layers, all the properties, everything that we want to know, we can grab right from here. It's a pretty powerful tool that we will get into in a later video. Let's go ahead and shrink that down, reclose it. And then within the Mapbox SDK directory, Let's get let's go take a quick look at these tools. Um, we've got the Google AR core. We've got Mapbox's AR system. We've got some third party assets, the Unity AR interface, the Unity AR kit plugin. And since all of these are already included, we don't have to go and change any of the settings. We don't have to pull in any of these libraries. It just works, which for me is a huge selling point. And if we go take a look at the Mapbox folder here, we can see all of the other tools that Mapbox has available for us. Um, it's got their built in fonts, materials, their prefabs, shaders, textures, and their examples folder, which is what we're looking at right now. We are looking at the location based game prefab scene is what we're in. And we'll get more into using all of these tools. I just wanted to give you a quick look at what we just imported to give you kind of an idea of how beautifully and simply this is integrated into our unity environment and with that we're done with setup it was really that easy it just took a couple of minutes and we're good to go so great job following along hopefully you got some idea of how much time and effort and headache the mapbox sdk is already saving us so let's get started actually using this and building out our map and creating our game this has been with devslopes.com and we'll see you next time